Stats 23 here in today's night therapy we have two knives to check out. These are Cavasio and QSP exclusives. Um, and this is one of my favorite budget knives that has gotten a premium upgrade. And that knife is the QSP Penguin. And I don't think it's any surprise that I love the Penguin. Uh, I think it's just an excellent value knife. And it's probably my most gifted knife whenever I have a, a friend or somebody that I want to gift a knife. This is the one I usually go for first because it's a great knife. <laughs> it's simple to use. It's just a, a good utilitary design and it just works. And it's not going to break the bank either. So I've, I've definitely uh, expressed my opinion on the Penguin uh, over the last uh, year or so. And Kavasi... Cavicio uh, reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in checking out these two. And what they did was is teamed up with uh, QSP and uh, a couple other people to bring us some nice exclusives that they drop in each week. Uh, the first drop was on September 6th. This is September 3rd's drop. And they're all uh, at <laughs> noon EST time whenever they do the drop. So first we're going to check out... Uh, last week's drop and probably my favorite so far, but let's move these out of the way you get these nice You know boxes and they have uh, their branding on here as well There's a Caviso branding and the QSB branding so they just kind of took it up in here as well and you also get in each one sticker pack and a uh, a birth card or Authentication card so last week's was this beauty Check this out. So what you have here, more premium Penguin, you have, instead of the D2 blade steel, you have CPM S35VN. And unlike this one, was <laughs> S35VN, but I couldn't stand that satin finish. Well, here you have a very nice stone wash finish there. You get... Unlike the standard ones, you get titanium thumb studs that have been anodized blue. The, the oils have kind of made them a blurple. Uh, titanium pivots, titanium body screws, titanium mill clip, titanium frame lock, a penguin titanium pivot, check that out, and titanium standoffs. <clears throat> then they didn't stop there. They gave us some either blue, dark matter, Fat carbon, which this stuff is beautiful. And I had no idea, just found out through their website that uh, fat carbon, first is a, out of, I think, Lithuania, and it's a bio based carbon. They use uh, renewable energy and stuff and uh, uh, recycled carbon fiber, something. It's just a cool material that I had no idea about. So it's, it's cool knowing that as well. And one thing else I like about this, well, this is also on bearings and a ceramic bearings and a ceramic detent. Besides the frame lock, I was kind of worried that this thing would be a little chunky because you still have a titanium frame. And uh, to my surprise, it's a good bit lighter. Let's, let's show that real quick. <laughs> this one right here is 71.4 grams we're going to go in ounces 2.51 ounces super featherweight now let's go with this one carbon fiber but it has stainless steel liners 3.34 ounces so you're getting a lighter knife <coughs> and i look at it like this you know this is good for two people you got somebody who's looking to get a more premium looking knife but you don't want to break the bank these right here come in at 129 bucks. So you, you're not going to find too many other knives that you can get fat carbon on with, you know, something like S35VN and a titanium frame lock done this well for under, you know, two, 300 bucks. So this is for those that want to get a more premium knife and uh, this is their way to get into it. Or somebody like myself, I want to, you know, be able to carry around something more premium looking and not be worried about it like you know say a eight nine hundred dollar custom with fat carbon you know you're not going to want to destroy it 
and you might be more careful with it than something like this. So that's how I see these, you know, in two different manners. And that's, you know, perfectly fine however you want to look at it. Um, I think at 129 bucks, I think that's an awesome deal. Uh, definitely excellent, excellent action. Well-tuned detent. Very crisp. Just like on the regular ones, except these are on bearings. Those are on washers with that thin Teflon, which I love the action on the other ones. But this action is absolutely amazing few shakes goes home I can reverse flick it I can thumb flick it I can slow roll it if I want yeah just a beautiful beautiful knife here and now for week two they have <laughs> for week one they had this one or you could get the green matter I just thought the blue matter looked much more appealing and striking hopefully it's even coming across on the camera because sometimes you know the Carbon fiber is hard to show in detail. So that's the first one. You can get it in this or the green dark matter, both of them, 129. These are still available. Uh, surprising. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be oh, I don't know if they're gonna be redoing them after they, they go away, but you know, if you want one, they're still available. I will have links in the description for the knife. And this week's drop. You have two different variations. The first one is an all blacked out S35VN marble carbon fiber. It's more like that raindrop carbon fiber. Black titanium pivot, black titanium thumb stud, black titanium hardware, black titanium lock side, black mill titanium clip. And I might have to do a little stone washing to this because I just like to mod my stuff. This one's the same weight as the other one that I just showed. This one is even smoother in action. Super snappy. Both of these have great lock bar access. Comfortable to disengage. Comes out very, very snappy. Just listen to this detent. Nice positive click. Yeah. Love it, love it. I can spidey flick it. Yeah, this one is a tad bit smoother, but it, you know, that happens sometimes. Uh, I just started carrying these the other day, and they've been a pleasure. Um, this one is how I wished this one was originally. You know, this one has the S35VN, but it has, you know, this carbon fiber on one side and on the other side, but it has a stainless steel liner, so it's, it's a little bit heavier. This one's a lot lighter. Now, it is a thinner knife. Let's see. You can see the difference there. You got a, 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 a this one right here is 0.396. This one's 0.46. It's not a huge difference, but there is a difference there. Uh, you can get this one right here with all the stuff I just said for $99. I think that's just a heck of a deal. I mean, it, you're not going to find something with all this, with the quality, the action, as a... Uh, as a titanium frame lock with a mill titanium clip when S35 VN steel on bearings, nice smooth action. You're not going to find it for 99 bucks. I, it, you may, but it, it's, there's not many. That's all I'm going to say. Um, you can get this one, and <laughs> I'll probably put on the screen the uh, other variation you can get, which is all silver with a uh, Mokotai clip on the back. And you get the you know titanium hardware, all the same stuff. That one's gonna run you 129 bucks. But if you want the more uh, the more price friendly one, this is the cheapest so far at 99 bucks. Um, do I think it's a great deal? Yeah, I do. I just I happen to love the pink one. I, I just find it to be an a excellent utility blade. I sharpened this one up a few times. You know, they're not the thinnest behind the edge. It's more of like a work knife. I think they're like 23, 24 thousandths behind the edge. But they still slice, you know, excellent as long as you keep a nice sharp edge on them. They're easy to strap up. They hold a respectable edge. And yeah, I think it's an excellent addition to the Penguin family. This, if you couldn't notice, this was my original Penguin. <laughs> the scales, this is what they look like brand new. And this is my original. This one, I did a little mod work on it. I was trying to make a, uh, just a swedge, practicing my swedges, and then I crowned that front spot. So, yeah, stuff you can have fun with, too. Uh, that's just stuff I like to do. 
And yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.